Hey guys, welcome back to another GTA online video. My name is Saints Fan, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at the next DLC. Now, I know we're still only halfway through the summer DLC, and I made a video on that yesterday. We still have a decent amount of content remaining in that. However, we all want to know what's coming next. And as it turns out, one of the GTA insiders who usually leaks pretty much all the other DLCs, he came out and said some very interesting stuff. So... That's what we're going to be taking a look at. So I guess let's waste no time. Let's hop right in. The first bit of info is actually him semi confirming that Michael is going to be in the next DLC. We thought he would be in the summer DLC because there was some stuff Rockstar sort of put in the game files. It turns out that necessarily wasn't for the summer DLC. It's probably more than likely for the December DLC. And that's sort of what he says here. Michael is definitely being featured. But in terms of the theme of the DLC he will be featured in, we don't really know. It's worth mentioning that one of the scrapped single player DLC episodes, which, you know, again, is like eight years old at this point, but it is worth mentioning, like he says, uh, that was actually going to focus on Michael in a zombie apocalypse. I don't know how that's going to, how that would have worked in single player. In what world would they have explained a zombie apocalypse, whether maybe it was the drugs you know, like in that one mission. But Fun says here, you never know, maybe instead of zombies, we end up with clones of the Clifford army. And that actually ties in with the summer DLC, because of course, in the summer DLC, we had this sort of final mission dealing with Clifford. Clifford is now in the hands of the, the FIB, the IAA. Basically, he's with the government now. So he's not exactly gone, but he's kind of gone. I had a theory maybe he comes back and we get to do a doomsday part two but that was the first bit of information again just sort of semi confirming that michael is going to be featured now of course i will say before we continue do take this all with a grain of salt it's not official from rockstar but this is all we have to go on because rockstar they don't tell us anything so we have him semi confirming michael in the next dlc now specifically about themes this is what we know so in the game files there are these script ids and it is basically a rundown of all of the content in the game. And here is actually the full list, just sort of quickly running through it. You can see this is within the last year or so. It starts with the uh, the payphone hits, the security contracts that came in the contract DLC. Actually, the VIP contract underscore one. And then that 265, the one that says non-existent, that's actually... The, the very interesting one we're going to be taking a look at. But just continuing down, everything else was filled in up until the, the Cayo Perico series, which we did just get about a week or two ago in GTA Online. Now, the theory is at the moment, as it stands, as you can see at the bottom, there's a strong chance that the 265 ID number is assigned to content underscore VIP underscore contract underscore two which would be the sequel, AKA the contract DLC part two. And the reason this is all so interesting is because in, I mean, you can kind of see it in this one, 264, if they only wanted to make one contract DLC, and of course that was us helping out Dr. Dre, in the game files, why is there an underscore one? Like if there was only gonna be one of them, why put a number there? Well, the theory is that they plan on doing more. And it is evident when you play through the contract DLC that it sort of feels and sounds and sort of you almost expect there to be more than one VIP contract. And the fact that the 265 ID here has not been filled leads more and more credibility to this theory. And then the final bit of info from Fun MW2 here. The smuggler plane random event, which we already got, and then the junk energy skydives, which are coming out in like a week or two. Those actually were planned out alongside of the contract DLC development. So before the LS tuners update, which just goes to show like how far in advance, I guess, Rockstar are developing things. So again, and he's sort of confirming it that that script ID 265 is more than likely to be the contract part two. And if that's the case, we are bound to see a continuation of that DLC, which would make sense with Michael being featured. So he is sort of saying that a contract part two will involve Michael. And that kind of makes sense 
in the contract DLC, there was a couple of hints here and there from Franklin talking about Michael. So that's the, the leading theory right now for this upcoming December DLC. And it does sound to be like a pretty big DLC. I mean, imagine Franklin and Michael returning and coming into GTA Online. That would be huge. They can maybe even bring in some of the other characters. I don't think Trevor will ever come back, unfortunately, just because of the actor. But this could be a great way to sort of end the chapter on Franklin and Michael. And if they do tie it into some of those old single player cut DLC ideas, I mean, we can get pretty crazy with it. If they do have some sort of zombie invasion, I don't know how that would work with the contract DLC. Maybe it is this Clifford, you know, drones coming back. Who knows? I guess as far as how it would all work and what exactly we'd be doing, that's left for speculation. But it does appear that Franklin and Michael will be coming back in the December DLC in a part two of the contract. Of course, if we find out any more information, if any more leaks or anything like that happens, I'll let you guys know. So hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. But I think this is pretty interesting. So now we kind of know sort of what's happening over the next couple of months in GT Line. Again, yesterday I made the video on the remaining summer drip feed. So we have kind of that until probably end of Halloween, maybe mid-November, and then we can look forward to potentially a contract part two with Franklin and Michael. And let me know in the comments, how do you guys think a Franklin and Michael contract DLC would go? I mean, we do know Michael is now like a big time director, but apart from that, I, I guess, I don't know, what would you like to see with Franklin and Michael returning? Anyway, this is some pretty exciting stuff happening to GTA Online. Hopefully we get more information, maybe official information from Rockstar sooner rather than later. But honestly, when it comes to the December DLC, I think the last three years, they haven't it, they haven't given us a trailer until like a week and a half before it actually came out. So more than likely, we're not gonna get anything official until December. So we have to wait quite a bit. But again, if there's any leaks, I'll let you guys know. Anyway, that's gonna go for the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop a like if you enjoy, subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.